Yeah, and first of all, congratulations to you. Yeah. I'm very, very happy. Uh, actually, just seeing you earlier uh, this morning, so we go, wow, she's it. She's the, she's really the perfect, you know, uh, personification of like sexy for 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 whatever reason. Um, now, Priya, have 22, uh, 2022 been like exactly your year? Because hindi naman sa pagmamayaba, your businesses have been flourishing. Uh, your production company also. Um, and love life wise, medyo maganda ang nilalakad ng career mo din. Um, what's next for Ria this point in time? I mean, you know me naman, thank you first of all, but you know me naman, I kind of just take what's given to me. And you know, 2022 was really like a mix of everything. It was good, it was bad, it had its highs but that had lows, but the highs were really high. And I'm very grateful for the year that that was. But yeah, like you said, I'm, there's still so much to look forward to this year, yeah. like a lot, and I'm very excited. And this is the great, like a great way to start my year with a bang. Galeng. Thank you, universe. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Thank you. Our next question is from Kate Adahar of Random Republica and then Janice Navida of Bulgar. So I'm passing the mic to Kate and then Janice. Thank you. Congratulations, Ria. We know how you are close to your parents. Did you have to consult them? And did you also consult your partner? Um, actually, this bit, when this was pitched to us also, my parents were also present. So they were there by chance. Um, generally, naman kasi they were very supportive and they kind of just let me do what I think I should be doing. Yung parang inahayaan na nila ako to decide. So everybody's just been supportive. There were no like qualms or no, there's no discussion anymore. It was like, okay, good luck, congratulations. Good and young. Does this mean you're willing to, you're ready to take on more children in terms of your well, I feel like I'm 30, so I should be, ideally naman. Um, that's really it. I mean, if it comes to me, then game. But if it doesn't, then no need naman. Like I said, this is just showing that you can be wholesome and sexy at the same time. Thank you, Kate. Hi, Ria. First, congratulations. Talaga, pinulat mo kami. Kasi din, nagulat din po ako. Huwag po kayo magalala. Parang, follow ko na lang, gusto talong ni Kate kasi parang hindi mo nasagot na what's your um, boyfriend's reaction ba? Your, uh, the new chapter of your life. May press coach na mamaya siya na lang talong ni Kate. Sure. Um, supportive naman po. He's been very supportive throughout this whole thing. So kung walang issue na ngayon ay siyempre kada third girl ito, marami nang magpapantasya sa'yo. Wow! <laughs> I think more than being fantasized about naman, the whole point of this calendar again is to advocate for issues at hand. And right now, body dysmorphia is such a thing with social media. And I think like if that's the message we're getting across, okay na kaman. And does this mean, Bari, uh, na you're going sex na rin, movie-wise? Iyon sa pagtanggap mo ng mga projects, like, expect, may expect na ba naming mag-viva max ka na rin? <laughs> I'm excited to star magic po. <laughs> I'm star magic po. Um, by the way, po, again, like I said earlier, if the role comes and it's something that's parang, that excites me or something that keeps me curious until after us, then maybe. But if it doesn't, and then not necessarily. And last question ko na lang, since parang late bloomer ka, Ria, sabi mo you're 30 na, tapos ngayon parang dumarating sa'yo mga ganito opportunities, uh, ibig bang sabihin, parang mas focus ka pa rin sa career na yun, or you're ready na for another, uh, or setting down this year, kung sa kasakari? Parang wait lang, things are still going so well in my career, and there's a lot of things that are gonna come out this year, I have a lot of things to look forward to, if that's what's, what the universe will allow for me to give. But right now, I'm enjoying how my career is going. And I think my timeline just goes to show that you don't have to stick to a certain timeline that people dictate or people say you should have. Like, just because I'm 30 and it's only now I'm having these opportunities, it doesn't mean that um, other people can't also. You know, like, if it happened for me now, it can happen for anybody also. Thank you, Ria. Thank you. Thank you, Janice. And questions? Yes, Miss Tessa Mauricio Ariola. The Lifestyle Editor of Manila Times. 
You were together in Cannes, in, in Paris, right? Uh, were you together? My mom. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I'm sorry. There's a... She did send us Chicharron for Christmas. Thank you for that. <laughs> Miss Tessa. Hi, Rhea, congratulations. I'm sorry, all the way here. But, um, you know, Ed, you said you are using this platform, you know, to, to encourage body positivity. And alam naman natin in showbiz, no? It's the environment. Lahat ng tao, lagi nagpapapayat. Everybody's on a, a perpetual diet, and they're always into their looks. But you carried yourself. Um, wonderfully in the industry. I mean, you you know, your work shows it. Um, people know you, people admire you. Uh, how did you, you know, like, how do you um, parang sort of um, ignore the pressure that I have to be a certain uh, waistline or I have to be a certain sort of look? I'd be lying if I said that I'm unaffected by all of that, you know? I'm, I'm human the man. I do feel that once in a while, but I think it's a matter of recalibrating my mindset na, you know, I work out, I don't work out because I hate my body, but rather I want to take care of it and because I love it. And I think that made all the difference for me. Because before, I also ha used to have dysmorphia and sometimes it still hits me, but now it's just a lot more looking towards it as a positive thing rather than being like dreading working out because I hate my body type of thing. And yeah, like like I said, it makes all the difference. And I think yeah, it's a matter of turning off all the noise because it should only be the opinions of people that matter to you that should affect you. So yun lang naman yun. And again, for this one, I'm already um, counting on negative comments. Then the lahat naman may ganon. I'm already mentally prepared for that. I like really psych myself because this is such a good. I mean, if you weigh things out like this. Of course, you see, okay, what, what could go wrong? What could, and I'm an overthinker like that. And I already thought, no, yeah, for sure, people would have a lot of things to say. But would that, should that stop me from talking about my advocacy and bringing it out there? No, the man, Wonderful answer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, and second question, now, I just want to know which part of your body is your favorite? My eyes. Your eyes. <laughs> um, um, the head. I like physically. Physically, yeah. I think my butt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 wow. It's only thing I got going for me, Char. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you do look great, and um, everybody's very happy that you are this year's calendar girl for White Castle. So, um, congratulations. Thank and congratulations you. to the Lipiel family as well. Okay, our next question is Cha Cha from PD before. Hi, Chacha, and then we have a question from Dina Chan and Mr. No Minikasho. Chacha? So, I have a question for Miss Ria. So, ano po yung sa tingin ninyo yung um, lamang or kaibahan ninyo dun sa mga previous ang calendar girls na White Castle? Uh, I think every we all have our strengths. Not to say may lamang ako or anything. Wala akong lamang. If anything, what my asset would be is that it's the body positivity that I'm advocating for. Yun lang naman. <laughs> and um, what's your, um, since yung, um, pa, uh, what, ano ay, about mo sa body positivity, so, may have any message din sa mga um, tao unconscious sa kanilang body? I mean, it's understandable, it's valid to be conscious about your body and yeah, like I said earlier, just recalibrate it, you know, love your body instead of hating it. Because if you start loving it, and then good things will follow. All good things come with love. So I think that's the only way that you really be able to fully embrace yourself. I know it's easier said than done, no? But I think it's really just looking at the things that are good about yourself then. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We have a question from Dina Chan from Business Mirror. I'd like to ask uh, Ms. Libao, how has the White Castle market changed throughout the years? Mm -hmm. Well, since it's an old brand, it's a 60-year-old brand, of course, we we have to keep marketing to the younger generation because we don't want to have 60. Well, we have to be relevant to the market. So they're getting younger and younger. That's why, if you will notice from our marketing campaigns, we also try to make it relevant to them so that they appreciate the brand and the, and the, 
images and the concepts that go with the brand. Yeah? So um, it's uh, that is, I think, the challenge for older brands that we stay relevant to our market because um, the market, let's say, 40 years ago, of course, they already move on to other products. You know, they uh, they have different tastes, different. Uh, interests. So we know our market and we try to keep relevant, to be relevant to that particular market segment that we're targeting. Um, how did um, your getting Sasa Girl as uh, ambassador help the brand? Or how did it help promote your brand? Well, for me, um, it gave us um, access um, to like like a new market, which is the LGBT community. That's one. The second one was it strengthened our um, social media assets because most of our followers now are are netizens, my mga internet, as we say, and that's really like a market, uh, like like an area where we struggled previously as an old brand. Yeah. Yung, of course, lagi naman yung problem na White Castle for the past how many years was hindi na siya iniinom ng younger people because yun yung iniinom ng tatay ko ni Dodo. So, we wanted to not really rebrand, we kept the name, pero we wanted it to appeal to a younger generation. So if you go to our Facebook page, medyo meme product siya. We do a lot of memes, like we do a lot of you know, um, um, current issues, kailangan mabilis ka. Right now, with social media, and si Sasa Girl was very um, um, instrumental in, in in giving us content that was relevant. So, um, um, if it was success, success, your sales show us that it was. Um, we, we we had uh, we had increased sales um, this year than previously. So, um, like I guess, many of the bashers are like na na manulugi kami. We considered that. Um, so yeah, um, I, I think those are the two things. The new market, the community, and that um, we were able to sell internet assets. Thank you.